Hello and welcome to day one of 21. If you haven't watched the day zero video yet, it is linked below. Please go and do that now. If you have, grab some water, your dumbbells, a pen and paper, or some kind of electronic device to take notes on, and we'll go straight into today's exercise overview. So as mentioned on day zero, today and our final day are the only days that we're tracking numbers, and that's so we can assess our overall progress throughout this program. So the exercises that we will be assessing today are shoulder press, push-ups, bicep curls, tricep extensions, plank, squats, and burpees. So what we're gonna do is start off with just one set of each of these exercises, and we're seeing how many reps we can do of each, and we're gonna be writing that down. Now, if you're more advanced, or if you have a lighter set of dumbbells, and you feel like you could sit here all day doing reps of these exercises, what you're gonna do is time them. So you're gonna see how many reps you can do in one minute. If you're less advanced or you have maybe a heavier set of dumbbells, instead of timing the exercises, you're going to just see how many you can do without stopping. The second portion of the workout, the actual workout, is going to be taking these same exercises that we're testing and we're gonna put them together and do them in a circuit-like fashion. So 30 seconds of each exercise, back to back with no rest. If you're more advanced and you want to do more than one round of the circuit, I urge you to do that. And if you're heading off to the gym right now to do these workouts, they're listed below for you for your convenience. If you're doing them right now with me from the comfort of your home, let's get started. Okay, so I hope you're having a great day so far today. Make sure you're standing in an area where you have enough space so you can do these dynamic warm-ups. We're gonna start right now with some Frankensteins. Some people actually call these toy soldiers. Regardless, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be kicking your leg forward just as high as you can. If you can't kick as high as I'm kicking, don't worry about it. You just wanna kick high enough to get a nice pull in the back of the hamstrings. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what this looks like. Also, keep kicking. Uh, I'm going to be talking you through these workouts. I'm just your guide, so if you're counting reps in some of the exercises and you can't completely focus on what I'm saying, don't worry about it. Just let me be here to help you. Now we're going to move into some knee tucks. So you're just pulling your knee up toward your chest, keeping your back nice and flat. Don't lean forward or anything. Here's a side view so you can see what that looks like. Here we're just getting a nice little stretch in our glutes. We'll do this for about 30 seconds. Also make sure you're breathing here. Nice deep breaths. We're just focusing on what we wanna to bring to this workout today. Now we're gonna move into a quad stretch. So here we're just grabbing the foot and pulling it up toward our glutes. Again, I'll turn to the side so you can see what that looks like. You should feel this a lot in your quads. I've left music out of these workouts so you can put your headphones in, maybe even just watch what I say on the subtitles if you prefer to do that. Again, whatever you wanna do. Just make sure you're taking big, deep, slow breaths here. And next we're going into a glute stretch. Now if you need to hang on to something for this, like a wall or a chair, you can go for it. If not, this is a great opportunity for you to work on your balance, something we sometimes neglect. I know I did all-star cheerleading when I was younger, so it was like deeply ingrained in me to have great balance on my right leg. And so my left leg kind of suffered and it's honestly not good to have imbalances like that. Sit as far as you can until you feel a nice pull in the glutes, back and forth. We have about 30 seconds total of each of these stretches. Next, we're moving into just a quick little calf raise, just up and down, getting some blood flow back there, getting our legs ready for the workout that we're going to perform today. A full body workout for day one. And after this, we're going to do some calf stretches. So we're coming down, just touching the toes with the hand, coming down. And you should also feel this maybe a little bit in your hamstring. That's okay. You want to pull the toe up each time you grab for the foot. So pull the toe, pull at the toe, 
and you should definitely feel this in your calves. I personally have really tight calves, so I feel this like crazy. <laughs> awesome, now we're moving into the upper body. So we're doing some shoulder circles, small circles moving into larger circles, and our hands are rotating frontwards. And now we're going backwards, backwards large circles, moving into smaller circles as you go. Awesome. Now we're going just a little quick chest stretch, just back and forth, back and forth, getting ready for those push-ups we're doing today. If you can't do push-ups, that's fine. We're, you can do them from your knees. Okay, now we're moving into a tricep stretch. So I'll show you what that looks like from the back. You're just grabbing from the elbow and pulling, getting a nice stretch back there. Awesome. Make sure you're breathing, preparing for today. It's going to be a great day. And now to a post delt stretch. So make sure you're grabbing and you're really pulling and feeling that in the rear part of your shoulder. I remember doing these in like elementary school and just like sitting there holding my arm, and not really doing anything. Don't do that. Really feel it. Try to get that pull back there. Great. And next, you can grab your dumbbells if you have a pair of five pounds or less. This is my favorite warm up for my shoulders. So what we're doing is just doing internal and external rotation, and we're trying to keep our elbows as close to our body as possible while rotating our arms outward and inward, outward and inward. This is really great for the shoulders. I do this every single day before every single workout. Now we're gonna switch and we're gonna go forward and backwards with our arms up. Just getting some blood flow in there, warming up our arms. We don't want any injuries. I usually do these with the lightest weight that my gym has. I think it's three pound dumbbells. So if you have fives, this might feel like a workout. And then now we're gonna move back into doing them again at the side, just to get a few more reps in there. If this is too heavy for you or uncomfortable, or you just don't wanna do it and you'd rather do something else, you can go ahead. And so now that we finished warming up, if there's any other stretches that you always do before you work out that you wanna add in here right now, or if you have any specific tight areas in your body that you wanna focus on, now is the time to do that. Otherwise, we're going right into our workout. The first exercise we're starting with is shoulder press. Now I'm doing mine with my heavier set of dumbbells, which are the 10 pound dumbbells. If you're planning on using your heavier set and you want to right now, just pause the video and do a quick set with your lighter dumbbells just to warm up. That's totally fine and up to you. Now I'm gonna be doing this exercise from the front view. And from the front, it's gonna look like my arms are in line with my body, but they're actually turned in a little bit whenever I do my reps. So you want to do that, it's going to be a lot better on your shoulders. It puts less stress on your interior joint capsule and puts less stress on your rotator cuffs by preventing internal rotation. So please turn your arms in a little bit when you do these. If you're ready, get set because I'm setting the timer in three, two, one, go. Make sure that on the bottom half of the rep, when you're bringing the dumbbells down, that you're bringing your arms about parallel with the floor. Keep pushing, I know it's gonna start burning. If you can't go for the full minute, you're gonna record your reps at wherever you stopped. Once you put the dumbbells down and stop, you're done. Don't try to push out some more reps after rest because we're assessing here. You'll have plenty of time to do that in later workouts. And just so you know, the slower that you bring the dumbbells down for this particular exercise, the more benefit you're gonna get out of it. And three, two, one, rest. 
awesome job. So now we're going into our one minute rest period. I know that that wasn't super intense, your heart rate's not up, and you probably feel like you don't need rest right now, but you wanna give your muscles time to recover from that exercise because we're doing a push up next, which is a chest exercise, which is gonna engage your shoulders a little bit, and you don't wanna be super fatigued whenever you start that. So we're just taking one minute here to breathe and enjoy this easy part of the workout. It will get harder, so enjoy this one minute rest period. Make sure you not only write down how many reps that you did, but also which pair of dumbbells you used, so you know for later reference. I was able to perform 40 reps in one minute, so in our 21 day video, day 21, I should be expected to beat that. So get into a push-up position. We're starting in three, two, one, go. If you can't do push-ups from your feet, you're doing them from your knees, that's no problem. If you're going for the full minute, I commend you right now. Make sure you're keeping your back nice and flat and you're getting your full reps in going all the way down to the ground and back up. Now, mine back is starting to give out here and I'm done. If you're still going, keep going. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. Just remember which rep it was that you dropped to your knees at. Go ahead and record your reps. Also, you can write down your hand positioning. For me, I did these with my hands narrow, like close to my chest and kind of down. But if you did like an upper or like a wide grip, make sure you write that down to make sure that in the day 21 video, you do the same style push up. And three, two, one. Okay, so our rest period this time is only going to be 30 seconds. The timer is running now, so make sure you're drinking water, stretching a little bit if you need it. We're going right into bicep curls, and that's the reason why we're taking a shorter rest period, because we just worked the chest and shoulders, so those areas are a little sore. Our biceps should be nice and fresh for this next exercise. Okay, and here we go. Get your dumbbells ready. Three, two, one, go. Also, I'll just take a minute right now to say that if you have any questions throughout this program at all, anything, post it below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Focus on that bicep muscle, get a nice contraction. And make sure you're breathing. Breathing is extremely important, obviously. But it's amazing how sometimes we forget to do it, or at least <laughs> I do. Push it, fight that burn. If you're still going, fight it, fight it, fight it. You've got this. I did not make it the full minute. If you're still going, keep going in three, two, one, rest. <laughs> My arms are already killing me. So I'm writing down right now, I'm recording those half reps that I got at the end, just so I know that I didn't get those full reps so I can compare that on day 21 and see how much progress I make. Prepare for tricep annihilation. <laughs> We're doing a tricep extension next. All right, and three, two, one, go. We have one minute on the clock. You wanna keep your elbows in as close to your face as possible and your back completely flat, unlike mine always appears to be. I'm gonna turn to the side and show you what this looks like. Make sure you're keeping your elbows in. I know it's hard. It's something that I have to constantly focus on and you will too. So just keep that in mind as you're going. And don't hit yourself in the back of the head. Be careful. This isn't, this is dangerous. <laughs> you can do this. Give it all you've got. No slacking here in this program. All right. I'm done. I did not make it the full minute. If you're still going, I again commend you. Breathe. 
three, two, one. Our rest period is in session. Grab water if you need it, shake those arms out, and prepare for planks, my least favorite thing in the entire world. I hate static exercises, but this is so good for you. You need to get good at doing these. I'm not good at doing these, so we will see how this plays out. All right, ready? And three, two, one, go. If you need to do this exercise from your knees, it's gonna be the same exact thing I'm doing now. You're just dropping to your knees, still engaging the core. Make sure you have a nice flat back. You'll notice a little bit of rounding in my back. That's because I'm really lordotic, so it's just the way that my spine is curved. Don't mind that, you'll see that on a lot of my exercises. Make sure you're breathing here, keeping that core nice and tight, back flat. Push through it. You can do this. We have one minute. If you can't get to the one minute, that's totally fine. Do what you can do now. Do not base your results on mine or on anyone else's. We have about 10 seconds left if you're still going. If not, enjoy this extra rest that you get. And rest. Great job so far. Now for this next exercise, we're doing squats. You wanna make sure you're not only recording how many reps that you do, but also where your hand positioning is. So whether you choose to hold the dumbbells at your chest, I'm doing it like that in a goblet position, whether you have them up here near your shoulders, or whether you're just keeping your arms down by your sides, that's gonna be necessary for you to record. Get ready. And we're going three, two, one, go one minute on the clock get nice and low on these squats here as you can see i have my feet more than shoulder width apart my toes pointed slightly outward that's my favorite squatting position but i also vary it up all the time so you can have your feet in a little bit more narrow if you so choose shoulder width apart and turn to the side make sure your back is nice and flat here you're getting nice and low and if you're doing it goblet like I am, make sure that your shoulders are back. You're not leaning forward because of the weight pulling you forward. With the dumbbells in the front like this, you're going to be using a lot more of your core. So stay nice and upright. And I'm done. If you're still going, keep going. Don't mind me. <laughs> I got 27 squats, meaning I have to beat that in the day 21 video. And three two, one, rest. Our 30 seconds rest is on the clock. Get water, shake your legs out because this next exercise is going to be intense. So breathe, take this moment in. <sighs> Deep breaths in and out. You don't need dumbbells for this next one. Clear them out of your way. We're going right into a burpee. Here we go. I'm setting the timer for one minute for all you crazies out there. Three, two, one, go for it. For burpees, there's different versions you can do. You can do a more advanced one. As you can see here, I'm going all the way down, touching my chest and jumping up, all the way down, touching my chest, jumping up. If you don't want to do the jump at the end, if you're just coming down and then standing, that's totally fine too. Just make sure you track that. Our first cardio exercise. Down and up, down and up. Make sure you're counting. And I'm, do I'm done right now. So if you're still going, that's awesome. I get some extra rest here, which is nice before we start our circuit. 10 seconds left if you're still going. And three, two, one, rest. Now I'm gonna give you a full minute here to recover from that burpee exercise before we go into our full circuit of all of these exercises done back to back with no rest, 30 seconds each exercise. Now if you're more advanced, you're gonna end up doing more than one round of this circuit. For the purposes of this video and keeping it under 20 minutes, 
or around 20 minutes. I'm only doing one circuit round with you guys, but if you're more advanced, like I said, you're doing two rounds or you can even do three rounds. Just make sure you're challenging yourself and try to keep your maximum rest time to two minutes between each round. Or if you feel like 30 seconds is not enough, per exercise, you can do 60 seconds per exercise. I want you guys modifying these workouts to fit your needs. Now you know your body more than anyone else does and you'll know if you're not being challenged enough. So make sure that you're modifying to meet your needs. This is your first circuit of this workout series. So you're about to get a taste of what you face for the next 21 days. Get set. Grab your dumbbells, we're starting off with our shoulder press, and three, two, one, go. 30 seconds on the clock. You've got this. You should be nice and warmed up now. If you're starting with your heavier pair and your arms burn out, drop them and grab your lighter pair and keep going. No stopping. You can stop if you need it for like one or two seconds, but make sure you keep pushing. That's the goal of these circuits, is to push ourselves with proper form as fast as can be controlled. Three, two, one. Drop those dumbbells. We're going right into push-ups. Time starts now, 30 seconds. Again, if you need to drop down to your knees or even start from your knees, that's perfectly fine. As you can see right now, that's what I'm about to do. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> and keep going though. Keep going. Breathe and push through it. 30 seconds. That's all we're doing here. You can do this. We have less than 10 seconds left. And switch. Awesome. Going right into it. Bicep curls. 30 seconds on the clock. Push and breathe. And don't stop until you're proud. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You've got this. We have five seconds left on the clock. Push through it, push through it. Switch dumbbells if you need. Drop them. You're picking up one dumbbell now and we're going right into our tricep extension. Ready and time starts now. 30 seconds on the clock. Keep your elbows in here. As you can see, mine are starting to flare out. I just have to remind myself and pull them back in. You've got this. If you need to switch to your lighter dumbbell, do it, just don't stop. Fight that burn, fight that burn. I'm switching to my lighter pair. And I'm gonna add a couple seconds here for myself just because I took some time right there to switch. Don't want to lose those seconds. All right, awesome. And go right into your plank and time starts now. 30 seconds. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees. But if you don't need to, fight this. Fight the burn, keep your back nice and flat. Keep that core tight. And breathe, 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 breathe. You've got this, you're getting strong here. It may not feel like it. <laughs> Switch, we're going right into our squats. Time is now. Now as you'll see here, I just switched my grip. It doesn't matter if you do these the same way that you did them in your assessment because we're just doing a workout here. We're not tracking these reps or anything. So just do it however you feel comfortable. I'm doing mine with my arms down right now. Just pushing these reps out. Breathing, keeping my chest up, head up. And switch. We're going right into burpees. Get your dumbbells out of the way. And go. Time starts now. Now, as you can see here, I'm doing a different variation than I did for my uh, assessment. I'm just doing an easier version here. I'm not going all the way down onto my chest. I'm still jumping, but I'm not lowering my chest to the ground. So it makes it a little bit easier so that I can basically last through the whole set. <laughs> 30 seconds is up. 
awesome job. I honor you for making it through this little assessment workout, which is a taste of what's to come for the next 20 days. If you're going into round two, get ready, set your timer right now for a maximum of two minutes. Or if you're going into round three, that would be even more awesome. So comment below and tell me how many rounds that you end up doing. I genuinely am interested in knowing. Other than that, breathe, rest, enjoy the rest of your day, and meet me back here tomorrow for day two core workout.